Hey, what is up everyone? This is Abhishek from Motion Nations and welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. We will be creating this 3D logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. So before I jump right into After Effects, I want you to please subscribe to my channel and please support me on patreon.com. The link is in the description below. Now we are back in After Effects and you guys know what we are going to do next. Yeah, create a new composition. So let's create a new composition and let's call it main and set the width and height to 1920 by 1080 frame rates 30 fps and duration 10 seconds so we will create another composition for our logo let's call this logo and change its uh, width to 500 and also height to 500 the rest of the things will remain same now let's drag our logo over here i'm going to use this youtube logo and let's import it into this logo composition let's scale it so that it looks something like this now let's go to our main composition and we will create a new solid layer let's make it white and press ok now let's drag our logo into this composition now let's make our logo layer 3d by pressing this button and let's search for an effect called exposure let's apply it to this logo layer and let's change its value to minus 1 or negative one now we will duplicate this layer but before we do that we will add a little expression to this by pressing the p key to reveal the position property let's alt click to add a expression and we are going to type right square bracket position uh, like this zero then comma position one and then at the end index like this so now we will duplicate this layer so in order to achieve the extrude effect like the 3d depth effect you will duplicate this layer a quite number of times so let's duplicate it like 25 times press ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate it and let's create 25 copies like this so let's select the first layer top layer and delete the exposure from this and now we will create a new camera press ok 50 millimeter and let's select the camera tool and if you rotate your camera you can see that we have created this 3d depth to this logo and we can increase this depth by simply duplicating the logo a number of times by pressing the ctrl d here you can see let's create i think 30 copies let's delete others now let's select the bottom layer and apply a drop shadow effect search in the effects panel drop shadow and let's apply to this layer and let's change the softness to something like 60 and now we will do one more thing let's select the white solid layer and apply a gradient ramp like this and let's swipe the color and change it to radial place it in the center and let's move it to the edges like this and change its color to a little bit gray maybe a little bit more like this so now let's animate this logo by animating our camera so what we are going to do is we will press the p key for position and let's create a keyframe but before that let's reset our position because we want it to be like this when the animation ends press the p key on keyboard and add a keyframe let's move it to like four seconds and let's add a keyframe and let's move it like this you can use the unified camera tool to rotate your 
logo in whatever manner you want i think this for this looks good for me you can experiment with any other view and if you play back you can see that we have created this animation now let's select the keyframes and press f9 to easy ease them let's change the graph editor so that it looks something like this like this now we will add a like shine on this by adding a effect called cc light sweep let's add it to the topmost layer and let's change few parameters so first thing we will do is increase the edge intensity to something like 80 and increase the swipe intensity and also its width a little bit like this now we will animate this light sweep by placing it over here at the beginning of time and let's add a keyframe over here and when it reaches to the end let's create another keyframe by placing it over here like this so if you play back you can see that we have added a nice shine to this and we can also easy ease the shine by pressing the F9 key and let's make it a little bit more dramatic like this okay now this looks good so the best thing about this effect is that you have not hard coded like anything and you can easily change anything very easily just by simply going to the logo composition let's drag this logo twitter logo and let's scale it down uh, something like this and if we go back you can see that we our logo has now changed and this looks really good so you can do more things in the logo composition you can animate this image by let's animate it by using the scale and press F9 like this and now we have created this scaling logo animation which looks even better not only this you can also add text to this by simply pressing the text tool and let's add something let's add twitter and let's select it place it in the center and let's position our logo like this and place our text over here and if you go back you can see now both the text and logo has been added we can also add animation to our logo or oh, sorry text let's select and copy paste let's select these keyframes and paste it to the scale of this and let's change the scale to something like this so okay it's not working oh sorry let's make it zero and let's play it now you can see that this really looks good you can play around with all these settings just if you want to add more depth you can simply duplicate this but this time you have to just delete the drop and duplicate it like how many times you want and then simply add drop, drop shadow to the end there you go so i hope you guys enjoyed a lot from this tutorial and if you guys have any question you can ask in the comment section below please support this channel on patreon so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you